Happy midsummer, loved ones. Today it's the best holiday of Sweden. Um, I absolutely love midsummers. And um, we have it to celebrate the brightest day of the year. And um, it's also a celebration of fertility. Um, so we dance around a maypole. And the male pole, the maypole symbolizes like a giant um, uh, male um, uh, genital and it penetrates the ground um, and then you dance around it to make um, all the vegetables and you know um, wheat etc to grow I love it. I think it's so beautiful. And as a young child, you know, you make the flower crowns and um, and uh, in midsummer during the night, um, you should uh, climb. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's called Jeskoda in Swedish. But you know what separates the animals from each other and um, uh, us. Um, you climb it and you pick one flower in each kind of, you know, um, hage. <laughs> and then you put them, you should not talk while you do this, and you put them under your pillow during the night and you're going to dream about who you're going to marry. Um, so I probably dreamt about my fiancé many times without knowing that it was him. I always knew I wanted to marry someone with dark hair and light eyes. And I'm doing that. Uh, because I actually think I dreamt about one of those on a Midsummer's Eve as a, as a child. Obviously didn't know him then, but um, it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful tradition and we're going to our friend's stunning countryside uh, place. I have no idea how the connection is going to be from there. Um, so I'm recording one day in advance. Um, but hopefully you get recordings throughout the weekend too. Um, my patrons are going to get some, some special treats uh, this midsummer weekend. Uh, I'm very grateful to, um, to get to celebrate together with the boys and Gemma and our dear friends uh, who's invited us. Uh, I'm also very grateful. This is, um, I'm moving out from this apartment. Um, and this is where, where, you know, actually like this is where I got sober. Uh, I, I lived here the last 10 years of my life and, uh, and it's meant so much security for me. So it's hard to leave. But I'm also kind of excited about it. Um, and uh, this is also where I recorded so much of Martin Yoga content. I lived here. Actually, I, I started recording when I lived in New York for like a short period of time. And then my first year of recording Martin Yoga was very much from here. Then I've been everywhere, you know, as I am. So it's very kind of strange feeling, you know, to, to wrap things up and then close the, you know, close the chapter. Uh, my 10 years sober, it's been very, this has been the heart for me, uh, my safe space. And now I'm changing it to another one. C'est la vie. Uh, we're gonna do some yoga. So get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, but the third eye doesn't move. So your breath and where in your body your breath is located. We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the sky. Inhale.
We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine. Very good job, we're going to do bread. Mm -hmm. Gemma is feeling good again. It's always so awful when she's having a fever. My mother's heart breaks. Very good job. We are going to do a special frog today. Because in Sweden, during midsummer, we do um, the little frogs. It's a dance that goes like this. Små grodorna, små grodorna, är lustiga att se. Små grodorna, små grodorna, är lustiga att se. Ej gör och nej gör och nej svansar har vad det. Ej gör och nej gör och nej svansar har vad det. Koa kaka, koa kaka, koa kaka kaka. Koa kaka, koa kaka, koa kaka kaka. And you do that around the maypole. It's very good for your health. And we're just gonna do the regular frog on top of this dance. Three. to the side and to come to the boat. Done. Bravo. Place your right foot on your left thigh. Come up with both your arms and bend from here forward. The stress is not perfect for you. It's perfect for celebrating midsummers, but it's not perfect for practicing yoga. So I can't reach my foot 
uh, without risking that I'm gonna break the dress. So I'm just holding on here. And we're going to do the other side. So straighten up your arms and make some bend from your hips. And breathe. I just did my nails. I did a mani paddy and I wanted like a strawberry red color because strawberry cake is something you really need, like you really need to eat for midsummers. Inhale, come up and come to Taylor's position. Get down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up, roll your shoulders back, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inward. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you and your present moment.
thank you so much for today. You know, the girl, thank you. I love you guys and see you tomorrow. Bye.